Hey everyone, this week I'll be showing you all how to make a pasta salad. It's great for outdoor picnics, barbecues, and the majority of the work is just cutting your vegetables. So let's just get started. Now I wanted some extra protein for the pasta salad, so I decided to get some rotisserie chicken as well. The rotisserie chicken is always a great way to up your protein and doesn't hurt your wallet too much either. Especially if you cop these from Costco. Quite worth it. We'll be tearing this apart into bite-sized chunks and leave this on the side. For my veggies, I'll be cutting up some peppers and cucumbers for the time being. The next day when I bring the pasta salad to my picnic, I'll incorporate the tomatoes as I don't want the pasta salad to get too watery overnight. If you're serving it the same day, don't worry about mixing everything together then. I chose peppers and cucumbers as peppers add a nice sweetness and cucumbers are pretty neutral as it's just crunchy water. The cucumbers and peppers also add a nice crunch which is a great textural contrast to the soft chicken and pasta. We'll julienne the peppers and cucumbers and set them aside. Now we want to get a pot boiling and salt it heavily. Add in your pasta and we want to overcook this for over 2 minutes. Let's say al dente is 9 minutes, then we'll be cooking it for 11 then. We want to do this because when the pasta cools down, it will become a lot harder, so we don't want the pasta to be inedible later. While the pasta boils, we can make a vinaigrette. I prefer vinaigrette dressings over mayo as it's a bit more light, especially in the summer. I mix 3 parts olive oil to 1 part acid, in this case some lemon and red wine vinegar, add in a bit of mustard as well and also season with some salt and pepper. Shake it up and reserve. Once our pasta is finished, we'll strain it and then place it in a bowl. As it cools down slightly, I'll begin to cut up my mozzarella cheese into bite-sized pieces. We'll add in the cheese, rotisserie, chicken to the pasta bowl. Add in your reserve vinaigrette and some fresh chopped parsley. Give it all a good mix before I leave it in the fridge overnight to let the flavors combine together. I also wrap my bowl of julian peppers and cucumbers and place it in the fridge as well. Now the next day before my picnic, I grab my grape tomatoes and put them between two deli containers. If your knife is sharp, you can easily have these grape or cherry tomatoes quickly this way and keep your fingers safe as well. It's a nice tip. We're going to cut a certain amount of these tomatoes and then add it to the peppers and cucumber bowl that we've cut previously. Toss in some olive oil, red wine vinegar, salt, and pepper. Give everything a good mix and taste as well. Now we're going to put this back in our pasta, cheese, and chicken bowl and once again give everything a good mix. Taste again for final seasoning and you have a wonderful tangy and tasty pasta salad that has a bunch of different textures. I hope you all give this a try as summer is ending soon and let me know what you think. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and follow my Instagram at WeCanCooks. Thanks for the support.